Creating and editing wires in TINA. In TINA, you can wire up symbols quickly and easily. To draw a wire, move the cursor to the component terminal point where you want to begin. The cursor will change into a drawing pen. You can draw a wire in two different ways. One, select the starting point of the wire with a left mouse click, then move the pen with the mouse while Tina draws the wire along the path. At the end point of the wire, click the left mouse button again. While drawing the wire, you can move in any direction and the wire follows. Note, you do not need to hold down continually the left mouse button. 2. Hold down the left mouse button while positioning the pen. Release it at the end point. Note, you do need to hold down continually the left mouse button. You can invoke the wire drawing tool by clicking on the insert menu on the toolbar and selecting the wire command. Alternatively, you can select the pen symbol from the menu toolbar. Or use the hotkey control space by pressing the control key and the space bar simultaneously on the keyboard. While drawing a wire, you can delete the previous section by moving backwards on the same track. You can easily modify existing wires by selecting and dragging sections or edges. If on the insert menu the auto wire item is checked and you move a component, wire or bus, Tina will automatically reroute all necessary wires. But if you disable the auto wire menu, you can move individual components without dragging the connected wires. The crossing of two wires does not result in a connection at the crossing unless you deliberately choose there to be one. Use the Hide Reconnect command from the Edit menu or from the toolbar to place or remove a connected dot. Be sure not to leave any important component nodes unconnected. If there are unconnected components or terminals, Tina's Electric Rule Check ERC, available also under the Analysis menu, will issue a warning. Let's invoke ERC. In the Electric Rule Check window, you can see the following warning message. Wire is zero length or circular. Click the warning to see the place of the problem. Let's fix the problem. Go to the Edit menu on the toolbar and select the Hide Reconnect command. Then click the R3C2 dot and test the circuit by ERC again. Now there is no warning message in the ERC window. You can also assign names to wires by double-clicking on them. Wires with the same name are considered to be connected. To demonstrate this rule, let's assign the name VPP to the upper horizontal wire of our circuit. Click on the appropriate wire or part of wire then enter the name VPP in the ID field of the bus or wire properties of the pop-up window. Now move the VS1 source to the left and name the connecting vertical wire as VPP. Now the two circuits are equivalent. You can connect other sections of a larger circuit with the supply voltage by assigning VPP to further wires. You can also add angled wire segments using the components made for bridges Y and delta circuits under the special component toolbar. Let's place three resistors and rotate them to their right place to make a Y circuit. In case you need to connect components far from each other, 
you may use the automatic wiring tool in the schematic editor. Here is how it works. Start drawing the wire, then press the R routing key on the keyboard. A small R attached to your drawing pen will show that the auto wiring mode has been enabled. Continue drawing the wire. The wire will bypass the components. Move the drawing pen to the node you want to connect and finish the drawing. The wire will be placed. Now you can still edit the wire if necessary. And that's all. We hope you will enjoy using this tool. For more tutorials, visit our website at www.tina.com slash English slash Tina slash video underscore tutorials. Download the demo version of Tina Design Suite and you will get an immediate 20% discount from the offline version of Tina, free license for your second computer, laptop, etc. One year free access to Tina Cloud, the cloud-based multi-language installation-free online version of Tina running in your browser anywhere in the world.